up like a pop-up book from the banks of the Rio de Rome. Edgy yet opulent Porto entices with its historic center, sumptuous food and wine, and charismatic locals. Snapshots of local life Porto's charms are as subtle as the nuances of an aged tawny port, best savored slowly on a romp through the hilly back streets of Marigaya, Ribera and Maserlos. It's the quiet moments of reflection and the snapshots of daily life that you will remember most. The slosh of the drill against the docks, the snap of laundry drying in river winds, the sound of port glasses clinking, the sight of young lovers discreetly tangled under a landmark bridge, on the rim of a park fountain, in the crumbling notch of a graffiti blasted wall. Street art and cutting edge architecture beyond Porto's alley woven historic heart. Contemporary architects have left their idiosyncratic stamp on the city's skyline. Winging Porto into the 21st century is Alvaro C. Zaviera's crisply minimalist Museu de Arte Contemporanea and Rem Kulha staring the iconic Casa de Musica. Public art is everywhere, from Azul Joes and painted tiles, glamming up the metro to street art tattooed across crumbling medieval walls. Costa and Hazel, who always work in Cognito, have blazed their patterns along the streets of the Aliados, Marigaia and Miserlos. Foodie Porto, Port Wine and beyond with much lauded chefs like Pedro Limos, Ricardo Costa, Rui Paula and Jose Avilés shaking the pans, the city's culinary star continues to rise. Take Vasco Coelho Santos at the new Us Called Una Studio, for instance, wowing with highly experimental 10-course menus, their mottos at Michelin starred Antique v, or Jose Cordero at the Blini, an upscale mayor is query of putting stunning rifts on Atlantic fresh seafood in Gaia. Betis Carias, Portuguese style tapas bars, gourmet steakhouses, brunch cafes, hallowed port cellars, craft beer bars, food markets, you name it, Porto nails it. Bom Appetite. Mardros, gardens and coastal walks Porto holds you captive at its sky-high Mardros, lookouts, and on-trend roof terrace bars. From the Say Cathedral Terrace and Gaia's Hilltop Jardim do Maro, the city is reduced to postcard format, a colorful tumble-down dream with soaring bell towers, extravagant Baroque churches and stately Beaux-Arts buildings. Equally ravishing is Jordan's do Palacio de Cristal's pop-fringed, fountain-speckled garden. Even in the city's heart, seagulls soar on Atlantic breezes, and a rickety ride on tram one brundles to the wide open ocean in Foz do Duro in minutes. Why I Love Porto by Cari Cristiani, writer beyond Porto's more obvious charms, the river, the port lodges, the alley woven historic center. It's the city's soulfulness that makes it that bit special. Revealing itself little by little, Porto is made for exploring on foot and you never know quite where those thigh-challenging steps or back alleys will lead you. The laid-back vibe, ludicrously beautiful viewpoints and relentlessly hospitable locals make this an easy city to love. High-spirited nightlife, outstanding food, wine tasting, street art, avant-garde design, mood-lifting ocean views, you name it, Porto pulls it off time and again. And as always, Thanks for watching and don't forget to rate the video and subscribe to the channel.